Hello everybody and welcome back to Easy Medicine. Right now it's winter and that's the time when everybody is coughing and sneezing and getting sick. That's the time when people are saying, oh, I'm getting a cold or I'm having the flu. Most people use those two terms interchangeably, but they are definitely not. Those are two different diseases and in today's video we're gonna cover the differences. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more medical content and if you enjoyed the video, leave me a like rating down below. Let's get into it! We are going to differentiate those two diseases today by the biological agent that sets them off. The duration until the disease hits you really hard. The severity of the symptoms and the leading symptoms. So let's go! So on the one side you got the common cold. The most typical biological agents that sets on the common cold is the rhinovirus. This stands literally for nose virus. The duration until this is really kicking in is a few days. You start really like you're feeling that you're getting sick. You say, oh, I'm feeling tired, I'm feeling nauseous, I'm having this, this cold. You literally can tell that you are getting sick right now. So there are several days until the disease hits you really hard. The severity is even though quite light. The disease is done within a few days, at most one week, if you got a normal immune system. On the other side, there is the flu. The biological agent that sets the flu off is influenza virus. The disease hits you from now to then. It's like one snap and you are down. You're laying in bed. It's a really severe disease. You're feeling really, really sick. There's no chance that you're going to work with the flu. And it takes several weeks until the disease is worn off. So it is much more of a severe disease. Of course, if you are in doubt, go see a doctor, see a general practitioner. He will know the difference for sure and he can help you and recommend you the best treatment. In kind of the common cold and influenza, there is no reason for you to take any antibiotics. A lot of people want antibiotics because they think, oh, okay, they will for sure help me. But in case of a virus infection, there is no need to take antibiotics because they have no effect on viruses. They only work against bacteria. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.